Big Sean has been in the news lately. You know, you know what's Sean. fucked up? We know. didn't talk about Big Sean. You know what's <laughs> fucked up? Just to add to what you're saying, he's been promoting this album and it doesn't feel like people really give a fuck. Yeah, unfortunately. It's kind of getting me tight. I'm not going I'm a little bit upset as to why I'm not more excited because I've wanted new music out of him. Continue. I think man, I'm people sorry. give a fuck, but not as much as not, we Not at the level that yeah, we yeah, anticipated, yeah, yeah, yeah. right, yeah. Reggie? Like yeah. he was once like the like yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the draw. The yeah. crazy thing is, Big Sean's promoting an album, and Wale is promoting a tour. A tour, I saw that, yeah. yeah. Right? And so now that time is passing, we get a chance to kind of see things from a fuller picture. Because just like the artist, we're growing with the artist, mm -hmm, right? So mm -hmm. we see Drake, we see Kendrick, we see J. Cole. We put them in their place, wherever you want to order them. Cool, cool, do whatever it is, right? After them, there's another class. Mm -hmm. That class is Big Sean. That class is Wale. That class is Meek Mill. That class may be Young Thug. Um, I think Future is an anomaly. Uh, he's an outlier. Sure. I don't even know where to put he him. He somehow I think, gravitates with that big three adjacently. And like, the crazy uh, thing it's, is, it's crazy. he's been out before a lot of the For people sure. that we've been mentioning with. Yeah, he he dropped in like 08, 09. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm, like Future, he, he lives in his own space. Dungeon but when family. it comes to like the blog era, right? Um, there's the Big Sean's, there's the Wale's, there's the Meek Mill's, there's the Young Thugs, there's the Wiz Khalifa's. It's that class of artists, right? But Big Sean being so visible and Big Sean saying so um, vehemently that, hey, I am a part of the Big Three, a lot of people, it creates conversations. I don't put him in that Big Three. I, I, when I heard, I'm sorry, Joe. No, I don't put him in that Big Three. Right. But right outside of the Big Three, I think Big Sean and Wale Meek Mill would probably be next. And I really just want to put those three in the conversation. Mm, okay. If no. you had to rank the big three, number two, the second big second three. Second tier? The second big three mm -hmm. of Wale, Big Sean, and Meek Mill, how would you rank those gentlemen? Because the oh, first easy. and the second big three would be number four, theoretically. Yeah. Yeah. So how would we rank them? Who's going first? Easy. For me, at least. Wale, Meek Mill, Big Sean. Oh, I'm going Wale, Big Sean, then Meek Mill. I'm not mad at that. Because Wale, like, he makes such... Okay, so Big Sean, I've spoken... I feel like every time I talk about Big Sean, I'm always like, I don't have amnesia. Like, he literally had hits. Hits. Marvin Gaye, on Char Marvin Gaye and Chardonnay, sure. My Last. Like, Dark Sky Paradise, the entire album was phenomenal. So, like, he... I do think he makes great music, but Wale, when you think about it, he always makes great music. Like, he's never, like, yes. dipped. So, I, that's why he's my number one. And the pen game. Like, I've never cringed at a Wale verse. Yeah, like, he makes... You know what I mean? Even today, like, he makes great songs. Mm -hmm. Whereas, like... Um, I've Big cringed Sean, at some Big Sean balls. Yeah, Big Sean and Meek Mill yeah. both dipped in terms of music quality. And then um, Big Sean, I just love him so much. Like, mm -hmm. I'm never giving up on Big Sean. I'm excited for the album. And then Meek Mill, I do think he had, like, an amazing era. Yeah. But that era is not here anymore. You want to know part of the reason? Because I want you to answer the same one. You want to know part of the reason why I had Meek before Big Sean? To Reggie's point, he's had a plethora of hit records. I don't want to take that from him. And what his contributions to good music, come on now. When you say he, you're saying... I'm talking about Big Sean. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right? But what those Meek Mill records do, they kind of stick around. For the for culture. Sure. Like, for the for culture. For the culture. Like, yeah. they kind of yeah. stick around. Or even the features he do, they stick around. Down to the intro. Yeah. <laughs> which is finally starting to kind of dwindle out. Just a mm -hmm. little bit. But he his intro was on lock for, like... Mm -hmm. He had that shit on lock for 10, mm -hmm. almost... Dreams and nightmares. Almost 11 years. What I really want us to do, and maybe this is a Patreon thing, mm -hmm. I want us to create the criteria for what that next big three is. Got you. That's here? Yeah, because yeah. this is a question on the fly. We don't really know. I mm -hmm. think from the surface level, mm -hmm. me... And I, I, I want to factor in my personal intake and also the impact, right? You have to. My, so, let me... Uh, this fucked up! <laughs> Personally... I'm gonna say big. I'm, I'm gonna say. I'm, excuse me. I'm gonna say Wale would be the first in that big tier, and then Meek Mill, and then Big Sean. But Same. from a public facing standpoint, what I'm gonna say because <sighs> this is so fucked up because I think Wale makes the best music out of those three. I truly do. I'm not mad at that. But I don't know if the public. I don't know if people gravitate towards Wale. It's a personality in the same thing. way that they gravitate towards a Big Sean and a Meek Mill. 
It's a personality so it gets, thing. Yeah. It gets really tricky when we talk about the next big three, in but, my opinion. But are we talking about music or personality? Because I don't want you to skew the two I'm things. talking all-encompassing. It, it does because, all matter. Yeah, okay. because I right, think right. The, the the original, the the the, the t tier one big right. three, so the Drake, Kendrick, and J. Cole, is mm -hmm. all-encompassing, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Like, based on what we just saw over the last year, mm -hmm. We can definitively, definitively, oh, definitively. I know that would be that kicking my ass too. Woo, that would be kicking my ass. No, you just caught a left and a right, right to the I grill. Had a stroke. Take your time. <laughs> take your time. Hold up. I had a stroke. God forbid. <laughs> Hold up. We can honestly say yeah. that J Cole out of that big three is number three. But if we were to put J Cole yeah. in a class with Big Sean, Meek Mill, and Wale, he would be number one, one right? Yeah. So we can easily say J. Cole's number three, cool, whatever the case may be. But I think it's all encompassing. I think it's music, I think it's output, I think it's marketability. So when I talk about the next big three, in my opinion, which is Meek Mill, Wale, and Big Sean, I got to judge them on that same scale. Mm. And on that same scale for today, I'm going to say number four out of the big three would be... Oof. Doug? Meek Mill. No, hey. I'm just talking about these three. Oh, okay. You right? said number four. Number four okay. out of those three. Oh, out of those three. Out got of, you, got you. Out of those three. To add to the real yeah, big Yeah, because three. again, I think number four definitively you, would be you. future. For sure. You get what I'm saying? So I'm, sure. I'm talking about the blog era rappers. If you want to throw Wiz Khalifa in there, I don't really think, and, and Reggie, correct me if I'm wrong, because I know you're really tapped in when it comes to like that, that blog era space. Was Future considered the blog era rapper? I would say so because when you think of 56 Nights, it was around that during that time. That yeah, true. it was. This is true. Uh, what's the name? The joint had two sisters on it? I'm going to say he's grandfather then. I'm going to have to go Future. I don't, I don't think we judge Future on future. the same scale that we judge all we, the other guys we, we because don't. of the style of music. We don't. But so you know what's funny? I think He it kinda, is yeah. top four but easily. I, but I think it kind of happened by accident, right? It did. Because, cause, right? Because when you tally it up did. all it of uh, Future's placements now and everything he's done at this very point at 2024, at the time when we was in the club fucking with his shit all the time, I'm sure we thought it was going to be just in the moment. Nah, he stuck around for every era of it. So I would I wouldn't be mad if we put him at four, even influence, if it's not like the lyrical miracle influence, dude. Hits, influence, hits, all of those things. Yeah, we can say. Yeah, and, and and future could be number three. He could he could After argue, Drake, he could Kendrick, argue, like, he could be depending on who you ask. He, he could be number three. Don't ask some, don't ask no niggas from uh, Dreamville. But, I'm, I'm but, not. But, I'm just, but yeah, but but, <laughs> but my, you could. Mm. The caveat is yeah. future's in a class of his own. I just want to keep it on this style of artist, and maybe we're making this Can't too front. niche. I'll put him at four. I'm not. I'm not mad at that. So yeah. let's say he's four, and then we yeah. put the other three gentlemen at five, six, and seven. Because you want to know why? I think Can I, I just add to what you said. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. The future's consistency. I think nudges out oh, the rest sure. of them, for right? Sure. We've seen Big Sean take a break, and of course he was going through some things. We've seen Wale take a break. We know he was going through some things. We've seen Meek mm -hmm. Mill take a break. One thing we have not seen Future do at basically 40 years old now is take a break, and he's done it at a high level. Granted, I know he's not the super lyrical dude that maybe the other um, individuals en encompass, but at the end mm -hmm. of the day, he came with the slaps, the songs, no, for and the sure. hits. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, I think he sure. just gets kind of forgotten in, in, in these conversations. Mm -hmm. But in these conversations, again, I, I, I want to keep it Meek, Big Sean, and Wale. Yeah. My personal would be Wale, Meek Mill, Big Sean. But in, in if if I had to put money, if we had to do another draft yeah, yeah, yeah. where Alex fucking smoked us, go check out that episode. <laughs> I love you, I love you, I love you. I would probably put <laughs> Meek Mill, Big Sean, Wale. And that's not my personal take. But I think from a newsworthy standpoint, I think from an anticip uh, anticipation standpoint from album releases, mm -hmm. I think people anticipate... While um, excuse me, I think people anticipate Meek Mill and Big Sean more than they anticipate a Wale project, and I think publicly facing, uh, from a social disagree. Yeah, really. I think from a social standpoint, remember Meek how Mill, low, remember how low Meek Mill just sold on his last project? I'm not saying sales. Oh, oh, I think, oh, but I, anticipation isn't that part of it? The sales, I, right? Wouldn't it reflect it? Okay, true. Right. Talk yeah. to me. Yeah, because so if, maybe Big Sean would be number four. <sighs> In that in, in in this conversation. Who has more hits, Big Sean or Wale? Personally? <laughs> yeah. 
Because they were also a part of, <laughs> of conglomerates. Uh, yes, yeah, of, yeah. of major movements when it comes to MMG and, right. and good music. Yeah. So it's tough because a lot of their posse cuts may be some of their biggest hits. Mm -hmm. I went to Wale's biggest songs the other day, and the first thing I saw was um, Roscoe Dash and Waka Flocka. Hey, like I was my no hands. Hey, that was his biggest we, song on we, Apple. Can we agree that Meek Mill's music and Wale's music ages just a little bit better than Big Sean's? Yeah. We don't even hear Big Sean say, boy, I do it. We don't hear none of that shit no more. Mm -hmm. So I would use it as my caveat and to put him below them because their if, music has aged really pretty well for the most part. But if we're talking Some about of that Big blog, Sean shit. Ugh, but if we're talking about like blog era, if that's yeah. the criteria, that shit was lit in the blog era. For sure. Well. For so sure. Like, for sure. Yeah. If for we're sure. judging it on a recency bias, then. We're talking about today. Today. Oh, we're talking about today. Oh. Today. We're talking about today. Oh, I thought we were doing blog era. Okay. Where are they today? I know they're from the blog era, mm -hmm. but today is what I'm asking. How would you rank them? That was the question. I don't know, because Big Sean makes... If we really listen, his music recently has been... Well, besides the Yes single. That um, shit was his last single, no. On Up. <laughs> on Up with the with the sample. I think it was a Jodeci sample. I feel like mm -hmm. he makes great music now today, too. So, I don't know. We could talk for hours it's about this because tough. they're also... It is yeah, tough. There, there's a lot. It's, there's a lot. it's yeah, a yeah. real like, conversation and to have. It's, an, a, it's a preference yes. between the three of them. And we can put the Kendrick Lamar conspiracies to bed real quick. Um, and the Not Like Us video... Kendrick was wearing a jacket that said 8824. A lot of people probably speculated that it, the brand made it like that. And others just thought, no, y'all, he's probably going to drop an album on 8824. And he's going to, you know, try to cryptically tell us that. 8-8 uh, eight, eight has passed at the time of his recording. Uh -huh. And Big Sean also moved the release of his album. Yeah. Which is make so initially when I heard that I thought, damn, he running from Kenny? But I heard him say in a Charlemagne interview that he's still mixing. But I Honestly, I don't know what's true. Artists say things all the time. Yeah. We don't. Yeah. We don't. I don't know what's true. And they yeah. all come from the era of mystery. Yes. Right? Yeah. Smoking mirrors and being entertainers and performers. There's still a certain level of a fourth wall that they try to protect. Absolutely. So we never know what's true with these Touches. artists, yeah. right? Like early in the episode, we talk about the Lottos and the Ice Spices mm -hmm. and whoever. Like they're just a little bit more... Um, I want to say green, green. Yeah, right? They're yeah. just not as experienced where mm -hmm. a Big Sean and a Kendrick, they're not going to give you everything. Mm -hmm. And we saw that with Big Sean's interview with uh, Charlemagne. He didn't really give up everything. He didn't give up too much. Except about marriage. Yeah. I feel him. Because <laughs> sometimes you don't, you think, like you never been with somebody for 10 years and said, I don't know. Charlemagne was like, Yo, Big Sean, why you ain't get married yet? <laughs> Facts. Um, that's personal. I can tell you never been in that. <laughs> what you I, mean? I feel him. I feel him. Sometimes the person I want to marry, I don't know if I want to marry. The argument on the timeline was that, you know, he didn't have a problem having a child with Janae, etc. Because, no, nah, that's easy, though. I, I was about to say, I feel I, like both of, them are, both of them are big responsibilities. Yeah, yeah. You, you want to know one thing that doesn't get highlighted in that convo enough, and I don't agree with Big Sean because I feel like a kid is a big responsibility. What doesn't get highlighted in that conversation about having a kid is that that person also has a kid now. So yeah. if that person was yearning for a child, like, they still get satisfied from yeah, it. Yeah, like, what if, like, yeah. this is why I don't believe in talking about people's relationship and, like, dissecting them. Because right. what if, like, Janae and Big Sean both wanted a kid a and that is what they wanted mm -hmm. out of this chapter in life? Yes, for sure. Have yeah. you guys ever thought about right. that? Right, like, or that's the responsibility that they wanted to take on. Yeah, and the, but everyone's you know like, I mean? no, you're supposed to get married first. Like, like, yeah, I'm, like, sure. I'm like, bro, I, like, I, we don't I, know these I, fucking yeah. people. Different strokes for different I'm, folks. I'm not going to lie. Y'all can be honest with me. Audience, y'all be honest too. Like, there has been people that I've been with where I'm like, yo, I would love to have have a child with you, but mm -hmm. I will not marry you. <laughs> I can't relate. I mean, but I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. <laughs> yeah, I see what I see you're saying. What you're saying. There are some people where I'm like, yo, I think you would be an amazing co-parent. I think you would be an amazing mother. Because of I do their... not know if I want you to be my wife. Mm. You know what? Like, I feel like people need to be way more open to that opinion. No, like, for real. Yeah. No, honestly. That's real shit. It, yeah. Especially if someone wants a kid. Granted, I understand that the, the uh, argument. A kid is a huge responsibility. You have to take care of them for 18 yeah. years plus, et cetera. I understand it. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying one might not look at that as a big uh, responsibility if that's what because they want. Because they can co-parent. Yes. I and if they don't want marriage, mm -hmm. then that probably is the bigger responsibility to them, unfortunately. Yeah. I also think a lot of people do project. Like, they're like, no, if you're not married, then you're creating a broken home. And I'm like, you know what? Like... That doesn't autom just because they're not married doesn't mean they automatically are creating a broken home. Right. Like you know, you don't so know the dynamics. 
Well, again, I don't I, know I the, like dynamic. the idea of a nuclear family I, for a child. Yeah, yeah, okay, that's what I meant. I'm sorry. Yeah, okay, thank you. Yeah, thank you. That's fair. Uh, the that's idea fair. of a traditional that's mom, fair. dad that's under fair. one roof. That's but like, fair. people are happy all the time with like, you know, this this situation. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, to be fair, um, Big Sean did say uh, uh, eventually um, with Charlemagne that they both, him and Janae. Both have stuff that they have to work out with, uh, within themselves. Yeah, but you gotta I let your girl say that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've said that. You're supposed to let your girl say that. Like, yeah, you sometimes you he definitely could right. handle that better. Yeah, you're supposed yeah. to let your nah, girl he, say that. Now nah, I'm not gonna lie. Char- <laughs> he wasn't ready for the co- for the for the question. <laughs> nah, and Charlemagne no. had him. He was Shout almost like, but, but Sean, he swerved yeah. it though. Like yeah, he. He nah. said a whole bunch of nothing. Like. Shorty ain't new here, yo. Shorty, <laughs> nigga said, yo, Shorty got shit to work on work. Like, <laughs> he said him too. Nah, he said he did, both. he did. Yeah. But it's like, yo, bro, you're supposed to let your girl say that. That exact thing he said, no. I would allow for my girl to say. I don't like that. What you don't like? No, because sometimes men, we need to be honest too. No, no, and we, we can need to, definitely we need be to let people know when the woman right, that you're be fantasizing men. over, let's be men. She needs some work too. Let's be men. Can she we talk like, some work what, too? Okay, but like, why? Why do we have to tell everybody that? Because like, she need work and I need work. Okay. I need y'all because but what can, automatically gets assumed is the man always you. needs work. No, I know. Nah, thank you. She hold need on, work and I need work. Let's talk about being a man, right? There are certain things that we keep player. Because we're men, right? Mm-hmm. There's certain like we're we're not gonna nag shorty off, right? We're gonna figure out a way in our approach to figure out a way to really properly communicate this to us. The same way for women, I say this all the time. Mm-hmm. Women protect men's feelings all the time. All the time. Yeah. You get what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Shout out so to it's, a, it's a real big Fact. salute to you. A lot of men don't Fact. know that. Yep, yep. So what I'm saying is, if you really want to get to a position in a place where the both of y'all are healthy and happy. That's not the medium where you showcase that at. But even what, if both uh, of you guys do need it, how do you think the partner receives that on an interview? But what if they've already had the conversation? I understand. But listen, I understand, Pierre. Yeah, but listen, yeah. what I'm saying. How do you think Janae received that? So I'm talking about for the betterment of the, their relationship. Mm-hmm. How do you think she received that when she heard that on that interview? She, I, I don't know, Reggie. She looked happy in the music video. <laughs> like, they shot that like three months ago, Pierre. Please, <laughs> like I mean, in any situation, like. Well, I would say keeping it private is the best for any situation. But also, I can't project because it's like these are celebrities, so they're yeah. in completely different circumstances. So I don't know. She probably didn't love hearing that, but hey. 